I have a hat on today because it's cold in my own house. So Creed 2 is the eighth movie in the Rocky franchise. Um, it's the second starring Michael B. Jordan as Adonis Creed, the son of legendary late boxer and former rival turned friend of Rocky Balboa, Apollo Creed. Uh, it's directed by Stephen Capel Jr. and once again features Tessa Thompson and Sylvester Stallone returning in their respective supporting roles. In this one, Adonis goes up against a Russian boy who is the son of a Russian boy that Rocky fought in Rocky IV, Ivan Drago. I forget the kid's name. I think Ivan's the dad's name. But either way, Rocky beat Drago, Drago, whatever, in the 1980s, um, and simultaneously proved that the Soviet Union had been defeated and communism is bad uh, after Drago ruthlessly killed Apollo Creed in the ring. Now, even though he has the warning of his trainer and best friend Rocky to not accept Drago's challenge to a fight, uh, as well as the potential of a family of his own on the way, uh, Adonis trains to face Drago, who just might turn out to be the toughest opponent that Adonis Creed will ever face. Until, of course, he faces the next toughest opponent he'll ever face in Creed 3, uh, and then again in Creed 4, and so on. So I liked the first Creed movie fine. I saw it in theaters twice. I bought it on Blu-ray. But unfortunately, I don't really have a whole lot to say about this uh, movie. I, I have not seen every single Rocky movie all the way through, but it's obviously like a Philly icon, so it would be blasphemy if I had zero familiarity with the, with the series. I do think it's weird that there's a statue of Rocky here in the city, uh, and that like people pose with it because Rocky is not a real person and Sylvester Stallone whose likeness the statue is based on does not live here uh, but I digress anyway most of the Rocky movies are perfectly service serviceable uh, and generally well put together mainstream entertainment in my opinion the boxing subgenre and the inspirational underdog sports movies in general um, tend to fall in a similar kind of category as the more like openly jingoistic and inspirational war movies that get made in America um, in that they sort of legitimize and embody and reinforce the norms of masculinity and violence in our culture that I think are at worst, mostly negative and destructive, and at best, are just not themes or ideas that I personally find super emotionally compelling in a story. So I like the Rocky movies just fine as pieces of pulpy popcorn entertainment, and I especially appreciate the ones that are also competently made, um, but I've never felt much of a strong emotional connection or attachment to them, and I find that all of them uh, as is the case with the majority of mainstream boxing slash sports movies, um, tend to follow a very similar formula of story beats, themes, and tropes uh, that I think have grown tiresome and that I don't, I don't find particularly stirring. And pretty much all of those things hold true for Creed II. Uh, the first Creed film, I think, managed to overcome mostly its formulaic plot, um, through its intelligent writing and direction, as well as the performances of its cast, as well as its position as a film that felt as though it was handing off the reins of the first generation to the next, both in the literal plot of the movie and in its style. But now with the departure of Ryan Coogler as director and with this movie's story being very heavily focused on events that don't really involve Adonis very much, um, those tropes are laid more bare in this second outing, and the story doesn't really go many interesting places. It sort of just goes through the motions until we get the outcome that I feel like we expect. I thought there were interesting conflicts in the movie that could be used to deepen the story, 
namely his relationship with his girlfriend and the prospect of him starting a family of his own, but all of those scenes are really awkwardly handled and never add up to anything or change Creed's perspective in any meaningful way or really have any real impact on the plot. Um, and for the second movie in a row, Tessa Thompson's character is left with little to nothing to do. This movie manages to keep the suspense in its fight scenes, but I think this can mostly be owed to the inherent electricity of watching a boxing match, or really any physically active or violent sport you can think of. But even in those scenes, the constant and repetitive huge, like, bone-breaking blows that Creed endures um, after a while start to lose their impact. And at the end of the day, I think the majority of the sustained interest in this series is almost entirely due to the popularity of the Rocky franchise. I think the first Creed did a good job as a sort of reboot of the Rocky series for a modern audience, um, but it didn't take its any its story in any interesting direction past that in this second one. People are gonna hate me for this, um, but this is something that I thought was positive about Star Wars The Last Jedi. It is the sequel to a sort of soft reboot of the series, another handing of the torch to the next generation, if you will, and it takes that concept and actually uses it thematically and conceptually in its story, and its place in, like, the pop culture consciousness sort of plays out in the plight of its characters on a subtextual level. I don't find anything like that happen in Creed 2. It's just kind of more dudes punching each other and then falling into problems because they punched each other and then ultimately fixing the problem by punching each other more, along with some training montages, a nudity-free sex scene with the love interest, and a lot of vague inspirational platitudes from the trainer character. You can only do that so many times until I get bored so overall, I, I don't want to give the impression that Creed 2 is like a terrible movie or anything. It's perfectly fine, and it's mostly entertaining for its runtime. Uh, its storyline isn't bereft of interesting ideas or inspired character moments, and in the moment, its fight scenes can still be pretty engrossing, uh, though I maintain that they are nowhere near as smartly directed or edited as the first Creed movie. But it also kind of feels like a computer could have written this movie. It hits every predictable story beat and theme in a very predictable way, and the real clincher is that these are story beats and themes that I don't even personally find to be particularly interesting in the first place. Most people will probably have a lot of fun with this movie, and if you're a fan of boxing movies or underdog stories, you're most likely not going to regret watching this. Uh, if you like all or most of the Rocky series, I can also imagine you having a good time with this and you'll probably appreciate all the Rocky lore or whatever. But personally, I found this movie to be very average in pretty much every way, so I'm giving Creed 2 a 6 out of 10. If you saw Creed 2, let me know what you thought of it, and I think that is about it. Also, I probably should have put this at the front of the video and also in a video that people will actually watch, but uh, at the end of my Steven Hillenburg sort of tribute video, there were a few people that were saying that they'd like to see some more Spongebob related content, which I am perfectly fine providing you with. Um, I just don't know what exactly you guys want me to do. Um, I could easily do a top 10 or a top 20 episodes of Spongebob list sometime soon and upload that. Um, but So if that interests you, let me know in the comments. Um, or if you have any suggestions for other kinds of Spongebob-related content that you think would be fun to see from me, uh, let me know and I will consider doing it. One day I will have like a cool sign-off and like a phrase every youtuber has like a thing at the end that they that they end with where they're like but that's how shit butts you know and i just wish i had something like that maybe that'll be it how that's how shit butts or that's how butt shit i think that's better that's how butts shit that's gonna be my new sign off so like, comment, and subscribe. That's how butts shit.